to use now, but obviously you can see me words. Thank you. Uh, right, I've got um, a bit of a mishmash set tonight because um, well, I didn't really know what to do because so much going on, isn't there? The moment is wind rush, there's summer solstice, there's, there's longest night, there's all sorts going on. So um, I thought I'd just do a few summer ones and a few softer ones. This one's called The Breakfast States and it's um, about when I was a child and we had a pony that lived in the shed in Brinton. There's still, there are still ponies living in the sheds in Brinton. <laughs> it's called The Breakfast States. There's a horse in our kitchen, 13 hands equestrian and flesh and bones. It's clopping around leaving a mess. In our house there's six of us. Now there's Bobby too. The horse in our kitchen is causing a right to do. Outside our back door is the shed, our den. The place where Sammy had her first smog. The place where we imprisoned frogs, played cards with the gang, enticed ghosts of loved ones and idols deceased on a homemade Ouija bird with a milk crate for a table. No more sanctuary to be found in our den, because Julie's turned our den into a stable. Now every night in, is infused with the clip clop clopping intrusive sleep, as Bobby shuffles to get comfy in a space of three feet. Every morning at the crack of dawn, no more to wake lazily with a yawn, he mouths the back door knob, waking us all. The race is on as I jump out of bed. As Bobby's on a quest to eat our daily bread. It's a race down the stairs into the kitchen to claim yourself a slice, grab yourself a chair where well, I used to label. It's a bit of a gamble. Now there's a horse eating breakfast at our table. <laughs> <laughs>